everybody. Welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. Christmas is right around the corner. We love Christmas and we have decorated our house. We want to show you some of our special decorations. We're going to take a little house tour. We're going to start right here with this beautiful Christmas tree. This is actually our first year owning it. It was painted by my great aunt and it has been handed down to me. And we have these cute little Jim Shore Mickey and Minnie's my mom and dad gave us. One time they went on a trip and we babysat their dog. And this was the gift we received when they came back. We have some pictures that we changed throughout our house to put up. And this is our entryway. I have this beautiful tree with these old fashioned little ornaments. And of course we have to have Mickey, Minnie, Santa, and a reindeer. Down below here, we still have the Nightmare Before Christmas out because it's Halloween and Christmas mixed together. And we have our beautiful manger uh, snow globe that has all of the shepherds and the wise men around. And you can't forget Santa in his car. He's there bringing his toys to all of the kids full of goodies. Bill has had this amazing old-fashioned Santa for many years. He actually received this from one of the families that he cleaned pools for. They gave this to him as a Christmas gift and it's cherished every year. In about 1986. Yeah, and we love, every time we put him out, we think about them. And we do that with all of the things in our house. That's why we thought we'd go around and show you. We of course have our Disney trees. I know that we gave you a quick little preview of those in a video earlier this season. These are all of the Disney ornaments that we've either made or collected together over the last 10 and a half, almost 11 years now that we have been together. And this beautiful piece, we actually got this one year at Home Goods after the holidays on clearance for about $10. It was originally around $80 was the sticker and it was a great find. We were super happy to find it. And right here we have some milk and cookies in our sitting area so that as soon as Santa comes down the chimney and brings us all of our treats, he can sit in here and rest and have a treat before he moves on to the next house. This is our butler's pantry. This is actually what I use throughout the year for wrapping and for presents, but all of our presents are wrapped so we have it cleaned up. We have our two cute little plug-ins here that light up and we also have these berry plants a Santa, and a couple of other little jewels. This is our laundry room. We have a nightlight in here, a Santa in a fire truck, and we have this really cute little ornament that we always put out every year. It belongs to Bill's aunt, and when you open it, it's a music box. A Santa and his reindeer going around the house. As we work our way around the kitchen, you'll notice that we have a night light for Christmas in every plug-in because they're so amazing. We have some Christmas cards, a thank you card, and a picture of Santa there. Our little cookie jars and some cute little mischievous elves. We have our snowman glowing and another snowman cookie jar. Of course, we have our amazing Disney Hallmark gift. Thanks to my mom and dad for that thoughtful gift. And then we have this amazing Mickey and Minnie gift. Thanks to Bill's niece Corinne and her husband who bought that for us. This pretty little house does light up, but the plug is being used for our light 
right there, but it's a beautiful little piece that we've just had for years. I don't even know where it came from exactly. I have my Minnie Mouse phone I got for my birthday, and I have these very, very special pieces. These are Santa cookie jar, a little pitcher, and a mug that I got from Bill's mom. She passed those down to me a couple of years ago, and I enjoy putting them out every year. This beautiful Christmas tree belonged to Bill's auntie, and she put it out every year when he was a little boy. And this tree brings back such amazing memories to him. This is another piece that we always love putting out every year and think of auntie. I remember that since I was five. Wow. It's very special and it still works. This is our holiday table setting for the year. It's actually a new setup. We made this beautiful little village in these stacked plates. We've used our Disney plates as settings with our beautiful red chargers. And this runner is really special to me. It's actually one of the first runners I ever owned. Bill bought this for me at a craft fair. It was handmade by a woman that lived in my aunt and uncle's neighborhood. And I enjoy putting it out and thinking about that day that he bought this for me and surprised me with it. We have all of our other little touches around the table just to add some special Christmas looks to it. But we have these beautiful reindeer that were added as well that belonged to Bill's auntie also. This is our awesome light up and music playing Santa. We used to have two of these actually, and we would have one in the window and one at the top of our stairs. But our cat Binksy had an accident, went over the stair balcony, jumping on our other Santa attacking him one year. And that was the end of it for him. So we're down to one, but this guy has been working for many years. This is Bill's amazing train and village set up for this year. This train actually belonged to Bill's dad when Bill was 10 years old and he still has it and it still works. It has a little hiccup over here but it keeps on going. The village pieces as well have been passed down to us from Bill's mom. A couple of little pieces we've picked up together since we've been married but the majority of these pieces were Bill's moms and mom and dad's and now belong to us and we love setting it up every year. Bill does such an amazing job. And this is our main Christmas tree. This is the Christmas tree that has all of our memories from all of our years, even from when we were children. Some of the ornaments are even from before we were born that belong to family members that have been handed down to us. And this tree is usually the last one we'll put up it's a very, very special tree to put together because each and every ornament as we unwrap it and put it on the tree, we remember where we got it or when it was purchased for us. And this tree is very, very special to us. And here we have something really special for you. A fire above a fire. We have all of our stockings hung by the chimney with care. And we have some really cool little guys over here that I'll have Bill come around so we can play and show for you. All right, this is our reindeer rocking chair. I'm gonna push the button so you can play a little tune for you. Here we go. And here's our rocking Santa. Right above me is the first half of Bill's Nutcracker collection. The other half is over here. Bill gets a Nutcracker every year for Christmas. This is the other side. You'll notice there are more Nutcrackers than the years we've been together, and that's because Bill's daughter has also bought him some special Nutcrackers over the year as well because she knows how much he loves to collect them. Play it. This is 
is our snoring Santa. He snores jingle bells. Let's show them what goes on upstairs. <laughs>